I am Alex. Oh, pish and tuck. Well, <laughs> good to see you too. Just for that, I'm going to try drawing a horse and you can't stop. What? 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 Yes? Y'all are drunk. Uh, Corey doesn't know why she's muted or how. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, this sounds like a James problem. I figured it out. Yeah? It was me. I did it. I did it. Anyways, back to the beginning. Welcome to the show, everyone. This is Can't Draw Horses Club. I'm Corey, and then I gestured, and I was going to be like, here's the great and wonderful Alex, Stacy, with me today. And then Hello. Alex actually just cut me off, just like straight, like, I was driving through an intersection, and he just came okay. out of nowhere, and just like careened into... I, I came here to suck at drawing horses, and I'm honestly feeling really attacked right now. Okay. Do horses' teeth go all the way up like that? Yes. Learn something new every day. Texas <clears throat> Red Anyways, is in deep shed. Back to me. <laughs> uh, wait, where is my... I can't find my screen capture to do my presentation. I'm going to have to... Uh... Just one second. We have to do a very important uh, thing here. Take your time. Glam. Add. Yeah. It's the perfect size. No one saw anything. This was, this worked. This worked this time. It's good enough. Okay. <clears throat> Our topic today is hands now it's a bit of a corner case but i've had people come up to me on the street being like what if i need to draw a horse with human hands I... right like it could happen um the problem is that hands are uh intimidating and full of mysterious bones they're soft and also hard uh i've heard artists say that hands are the hardest thing to draw Good people thing. get really people get really hung up on them and yeah. not unreasonably so you know there's a lot of wibbly bits uh coming off of them yeah i was gonna say um, like it's 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 good that uh we as human beings have hands because then we can just kind of like use our own hands as references and we don't have to go out to find a horse with human hands to draw <laughs> that'll uh, be one heck of a reference but yeah, we, we, we also use our hands to interact with horses and different things like holding the reins and giving them treats and brushing them. And maybe you have to work the masseter, which involves the what? circles. It's a it's a callback. It's a callback to circles, the masseter. It's a masseter. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, that's my presentation. Thank you all for uh, coming today. Everything's going so well. <laughs> I would like to thank the subs that got in early 
uh, Lamel, 32 months. Horses with hands? Horses with hands? Uh, hands? Uh, I think is the, the intended reading. And Zeroth339, who has been here for 21 months. Thank you both. My mic is quite quiet. Yeah, uh, I had it. I had the gain boosted, and I undid that to. Uh, hello. See? Now I'm louder. I, I undid that to uh, try to figure out why I was muted. Am I loud enough now? Chat. Frankenstein. Frankenstein, can you hear me? Thank you for subscribing 40 months. And thank you, Paul, for just popping up. Perfect. What was I doing? Warm-ups. Don't worry. I, 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 I like to start I mean, with a bit of a warm-up, get things going. Out here. So, uh... I've, I've heard tell of the, the legendary warm-up, but I'd never bother with it. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, maybe that makes me a bad artist, but... I'm going to start by unwrapping my eraser. I bought one fresh. Ooh. Because all of my erasers were dried up husks. Like, I've got a lot of old erasers. Actually, no, I did... I did find this one needing, needing eraser. But it's just like a little... It's small. It's too small. Needing erasers are, are interesting. Um, I think my faves are the just like um, these ones. All like, but I, the, the, they come like twice as long as this, and I just like split them in half. Yeah. And then I lose all of them anyway. It's a release! God! Good God. I uh, also found some of my old art supplies from school. Okay, okay, actually. Fantastic. Check this out. It's pencil crayons? Oh! Yes. Nice. We go in old school. I I have memory of that actual brand. Is it Laurentian? Or... Yeah, and I kind of just recently learned that, you know, uh... Is it Faber Castile? Faber Castile? Yeah. Yeah, same brand. They, oh, they own Laurentian. Well, how about that? Doesn't look like they did back in the day, but now if you find Laurentian, they have the, the other company thing on it. Well, how about that? Apparently, I really like using a 4B. I mean, uh, very predictably, my favorite pencil is a 2B. Ha! And I, I was ha! using that before near existed, so. Is this pencil sharpener even sharpened? Which way do I spin this? Oh, it's making the noises. Kind Are we of. making pencil sharpening noises? Let's try this other one. It's in the top. Ah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, aren't we fancy? I, well... Ah, ooh! That's very sharp. <laughs> okay. Did you know that I found out the reason why um, a dull pencil lasts longer than a sharp pencil? From Surface a video... area? Yeah, but I, the, the place that I found that insight was on a video about um, lathe tooling, because the same principles apply. To like your it, uh, your bits or whatever for your lathe, like your, your yeah, <clears throat> like a sharp point is going to there's like less area that's you know wearing on it, whereas if it's like round, it's like wearing over more of an area. I, I'm gonna do a rubbish job of explaining it, but. Surface area. Yeah. Lost my eraser. Eraser down. 
<clears throat> you know, I think the hands are difficult, <clears throat> excuse me, because it's not like you're drawing one thing, you're drawing like six things. Like um, each finger has multiple points of articulation and then the way they all interface together. And there's like a squintillion different uh, configurations it can be in. So there's That's a couple. That's a big tips. number. Yes. It's hyperbolic for uh, effect. Hmm. I'm just gonna make my garbage big, and then your garbage goes on top. There we go. Beautiful. You call them garbage. My valuable guest that I invited to come on my show. I'll be in my Winnie. Uh, all right. Already got a sharp in this. Jeez. Uh oh, I heard a snap. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> No, I might be using um, Sharpie and copier paper today just to like, um, I'll never forget the best message I ever got, and by best I mean worst, um, a couple years ago, just before, um, well during October, okay. which, uh, which is no longer a thing that I talk about. Uh, <laughs> for a variety of reasons, but um, I tried to get people to um, uh, to try it, you know, just fucking try it, you know, mm -hmm. and still people get mad at you. Um, and one person especially was just like, are you going to pay for the special paper and special ink? Uh. And I was just like, you don't understand the thing that you're refusing to do. And that makes me very sad. So I kind of wanted to this year get uh, Switchtober started or something Switcher. Go out and it's buy a Switch? No, it's whatever medium you are most comfortable in or and that uh, you use the most often, do the opposite. If you're a digital artist, do traditional. If you're traditional, do digital. OK. Just Just switch it up for the love of God. Because, yeah, I won't, uh, I won't go on about uh, um, various drawing challenges because I'm sure I've spoken about it at length before. Oh, you have your drawing glove on. Well, I mean, it's also to, to cover the spot where I, like, burn my arm. <laughs> Because it's really gross. Yeah, but I'm a lefty, so I always get like graphite on on the side of my. I've already yeah, I mean, I've already it, it looks, acquired some. It makes you look like I never remember what side the fucking ulna is on. Um, uh, it is the one that is on the pinky side, I think. Yeah, I mean, like I'll, I'll just check where it is. I need to make these curves steeper. This was a really great trick that I learned somewhere on how to get, it works at least for splayed fingers. Um, Cause one of the, the problems you can encounter is, you know, if you do all the fingers the same length, it looks like a rake. Yeah. So you want to get like the base of the hand Gotta and then get you your, draw. Your trapezius. 
an arc and then the fingers follow that arc. Because um, you can actually see on your on your actual hand, it follows, it actually like follows all the knuckle joints as well. So that's just a useful one. But like I said, it only works for uh, um, splayed fingers. Mm -hmm. Well, no, actually it works for closed fingers as well. And yeah. uh, you can also use it for following, like if the fingers are bent, they still follow because like, mm -hmm. the, the inner knuckles do it too uh the other one that i found is that like you don't have to draw every single finger on a drawing of a hand like that's a a thing that you know you, you a lot of the times you have the compulsion to you know, because all the fingers are there, you want to draw them all, right? And you don't have to get back there, you smart ass. You can be like... Index, middle... And then the rest are suggested. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the overlap. So there's also like ways to simplify the hand. Like a lot of times, I think for cartooning particularly, you do like two joint fingers instead of like three right. joint. So you make like all your fingers thumbs. Oh uh, yeah. 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 The thumb has fewer today, joints. You're, today years old. Today, yeah. Oh, I I mean, I pulled up some information that might just blow your mind. Oh, probably. Let me... Here, now I'll do I... this one and I'll just make you small. I'm going to practice my Maybe. Kirby hand. Your Kirby hand? Yeah, you want to keep your Kirby hand strong. So, uh, here I have my right hand, back of the hand, and front of the hand, and... Mm -hmm. The proportions are actually different between the two because your palm extends up to above your knuckles. Hmm. So the proportions for your joints are kind of different. Fuck is foreshortening. What is foreshortening? No, I, I know I know what it is. It's just <laughs> that it was a rhetorical kind of Oh, I see you're being funny. I funny. You funny. So This is like a five out of ten Kirby hand. These little stick things. These are bones. I'm filling in some bones. Are you doing like the 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 full blown hand? Doing a something like a hand. The one I always screw up on is like thumb placement. Like some lumpy thing down this way, and that won't be. And then there's. Okay, so there's eight carpels. Sure. Yeah, there's like little rocks that live here. Rocks in your hand? There's rocks in your hand, they live down here. And that jo that joint is slidey. They all have names. 
and faces. Yeah. I wait. Well, no, they don't have faces. Their hands. And then there's the metacarpals, which go up to your fingers, and then. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Uh, I know how to remember the names of these finger bones, because they're like the the phalanges. Your digits have phalanges, and there's for anatomy naming. They use distal and proximal. Okay. So distal is far. Uh huh. And proximal is near. Huh. Far near. So you got your distal, middle, proximal. Phalanges. Now I don't know what any of this shit is called. I don't the believe phalanges. it will nece necessarily affect my ability to render, but. That kind of stuff is, uh, well, it's interesting. I don't think this guy's been eating his Wheaties. Bam. Good for you. And let's see if I can figure out the palm side. Something like that. And then there's another bone. And then there's the eight rocks that live here. <laughs> Which you can kind of just make into a oval if you want. Whenever you're doing stuff. See, I should have printed out some hand reference. But, you know, whatever. Oh, perfect time to bring out colored. Wait, no. Marker! <laughs> uh, let's see if I can do this. Meep, uh, meep, 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 meep. And then they all kind of. These are tendons. I'm drawing in tendons. Here. They kind of just fan out. I don't know what happens over here. I think it probably probably does that. <laughs> Good anatomy, Corey. Good anatomy. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> it's red. Red. Go nicely, or should I do purple or brown? Let's do red. Uh, so, so they like there's like two different sets of tendons that go up to your fingies and they split. One splits and the other one comes up underneath it. Huh. So the the big one is only attached to the top joint in your fingers, but the other one that splits is the attached to the bottom one, which which is why, like if you bend like this, uh, this is not engaged. I missed a joint in the thumb? Rip. No, I didn't. It's right there. What are you talking about down here? That area. I guess. I guess. Thumb's not just a stick, are you sure? Okay, so it's like there. And uh, it's not a stick, stick, then why do they call it a thumb stick? There we go. Checkmate, atheists. Yeah, you just blew up chat. You just, 
dunked on them. Wow. Oh yeah, and another thing. The the webs between your fingers are the view of your palm from the top. Because, again, your palm extends above those joints. Hmm. I think I'm at the I'm at the point where I'm still trying to get that grasp of um like general hand poses before I get into the like really kinda Anal retentive stuff. You don't think that, like, you would want to build up from basic forms? Well, yeah, I'd, but um, simplified forms. So, like, the, the other thing is that um, my approach to learning some of this stuff is based on um, a need for process, where it's like, I need to draw, like, a bunch of hands doing, you know, various things, like, so I, I want to be able to, to get the character of what hands are doing without fussing too much over, like, what every single thing looks like. Uh, now, that still requires me to learn some things about it, but... I mean, it, it, it's it's... A different approach to, to, to a different end, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Because, like, if you were doing for, um, yeah, like, uh, what the the approach for that I, you know, I do for comics is going to be different from one that you do for, like, uh, like high art, I guess, or like, um, yeah, high art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, that's the that's the three toke um, <laughs> canvas. You know, I'm like drawing as, as much of a hand as it as needs to exist to get an idea across. To communicate hand. It's like hand. And that's why my hands look like cauliflower. By my hands, I mean the hands that I draw. Okay, I was like, you should go to the hops at all. I don't know if cauliflower hand is a real thing. I think cauliflower ear is a real thing. Speaking of, if you're looking for uh, hand references, be careful if you're looking for uh, like x-rays and stuff, because you might run into some injuries. Oh, heck. Yeah, I wouldn't want to look at... Um... Yeah. Injuries. Also, I would definitely, 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 definitely uh, get photos over illustrations. Yes. Um, for ref I'm, for well yeah, for reference. You can do a study of another artist's yeah, interpretation. Exactly, but um, do you, do you consider there a difference between like the terms uh, reference and study? Um. Yes. Uh, a study, like the term implies, is um, taking something that's existing. Uh, I mean, like it's it's a form of exercise. Like the point of it is, like you wouldn't do a study for something that you were. Um, that was like for production or whatever. For commercial reasons. Yeah, or, or non-commercial personal reasons. Like, you know, I wouldn't be like, I'm doing a study today for this comic page that I'm going to publish um, on Twitter or whatever, because like, that's not what you're doing. Um, a study would be like, I'm going to open up a random page of Masamune Shiro and see how he draws uh, butts or something. And, you know, just copy 
what he does to sort of you know get an idea about how that works. Yeah, and sure. I will. I will never Steady try to pass it off. Yes, that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna look at these butts real close for several hours. <laughs> Oh, um, but yeah, like it's, um, it's a, it's a, it's a learning exercise is what study is. Reference on the other hand is like, I need to look at a thing to know how to draw the fucking thing. Um, so for example, it's like, I need to draw a filing cabinet. What a filing cabinets look like. I will get right. a picture of a filing cabinet and then I will look at that picture of a filing cabinet, which may not be in the orientation that I need it to be, but I can be like, that's where the handle is. That's where the lock is. It's about so tall. It's about so deep. Um, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So that's my take on reference versus study. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you. Uh, Cause like last time we did an art stream together, drawn squashes, yeah. I was doing more of a study and you were definitely doing reference and then adding scary mouths. <laughs> yeah, that uh, might be my, my technique showing. Yeah. Oh, right. I wanted to show people uh, in this area around the carpels, there's like a ligament thing that goes all the way across on your palm side. I always thought carpels were how you save gas getting to work. No, but this is the carpal tunnel. The, the the ligament that goes across and you've got tendons that go over and under it. I mean, I think just one tendon goes over it. But if there's some inflammation in there, then it pushes on your nerve, which affects, I think, half this finger, this finger, this finger, and your thumb. Because it's the nerve that controls motor and sensation in those areas. Yeek! See, you mentioned uh, study, and now I'm curious if I have something that I could study. Ooh. I never know where I put anything. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what my, uh, like, Here's here's all my tools that I keep on my desk. Corey, don't let's not play this game. We'll both lose. <laughs> Trust me, if you had any idea, it's kind of like nightmare town I'm sitting in the middle of. Um, <laughs> hang on a second. I'm just gonna go to my shelf. Uh, to Emily, you do have muscles in your hand. Not necessarily your fingers, but there are two big, big muscles in your hand that give what, and actually three. There's two on the bottom and one on the top that give you a lot of form. Let me. See. Do I have another color? Because there's like your big, big thumb squishy, and then there's. This side isn't all hard bone because there's another big squishy over here. And then on the back, you've got this. This squishy. All right, I'm playing with fire here. Uh, yeah. I mean, your camera is tiny. Let me know if you find something good to look at, and I'll I'll pull you up. No, don't worry about it. I I I just have to like flip through this and make sure that there's like no classic um, Shiro random ass nudity. Holy shit! Well, we're getting close to uh, an hour, so I guess I'm. I might just do stretches. I'm going to thank some subs and then I'm going to stretch, stretch it out. Okay. Uh, so thank knock 20 months. Thank you. 
Bulldog Omega, 30 months. Thank you. Chrono 2X, 79 months. Oh, there's the nudity. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for all of the horses. Uh, Nolly. <laughs> Nolly 3, 42 months. Can't draw much due to my severe tremor, but this show has really inspired me to try and draw digitally, even if it's with my mouse pad and the straight curved line tools. Oh, heck Do yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, butt Spot. Subscribe for 15 months for some reason. And the Dave Cheesefish. Dave Cheesefish! I'm sorry, that might be my new favorite username. They've been here for four months and I've never seen them before, but I'm so Dave happy that Cheese I did. Fish. Thank you so much for subscribing today, Dave Cheesefish. <laughs> So yeah, for uh, stretches, last time we did stretches, people were talking about arthritis, so I wanted to do tendon glides. Isn't that fancy sounding? Look me, mom, studying. <laughs> so I'm going to start with like my hand just kind of, you can rest like your forearm on stuff. Uh, it's good to do like a warm up, like shake your hands out, maybe do some wrist rolls, but, uh, you start with the hand kind of like neutral and then you just kind of curve, try to isolate like each joint separately. Do like the flat hand. Uh, you can go finger by finger at your own pace. Uh, you can touch your thumb to your fingertips. Didn't leave enough room here. I'm doing these all too fast. Uh, so there's the hook fist. That technique is forbidden, you know. The hook fist. Then you go back to neutral and hook fist. And just kind of go back and forth a few times. Maybe do both hands. Oh, that's a good hand. Uh, then here. you do the flat fist, where you, it's like if you're trying to look at all your fingernails. Yeah. Good Let's action new, going on here. Get a new piece of paper, Sideshow Bob. No, fuck it. We're just going to freehand. And then the full fist. Okay, this is getting TOS territory. And you can you can chain and multiplier combo off all of these, like hook into flat into fist, and then whatever you want. There's no rules. I'm not a doctor. Don't do what I say. Yeah, see like following the curve. That looks like two joints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypermobility, EDS, other issues. Like, if if there's medical reasons you shouldn't be doing things, don't. Uh, another thing you can do is abduction. Which is just and it sounds like, it sounds like Twitter. It's just like anytime somebody posts, do this thing, and there's like a million responses like unless. <laughs> it's like oh my god. And then actually moving your fingies side to side is also abduction. So spreading, closing, spread, close, spread, close. Uh, if you want to do a workout, you can put something squidgy between your fingers and kind of clench, clench between. Yeah. For, for, for other workout, mm, it's squishy. I like having a squishy thing. And then there's like the typical, like the hold your arm straight out and pull back and then the down one. But again, go easy on yourself. Don't go off, but like these are, these are decent for like 
carpal tunnel. So, um, there is, uh, anytime the, the, the topic of mobility comes up, um, when it comes to drawing, um, I'm reminded of a variety of, um, mobility aids that I've seen. Some of which are like really DIY, um, for, you know, people who have, uh, like, arthritis or, you know, like tremors or what have you. Um, and whenever the topic comes up, I start to like sort of think about what you can do to sort of mitigate um, any of those factors. And the, I mean, it's a difficult um, headspace to put myself into because it's like, imagine what it's like to be disabled. <laughs> like, or just uh, someone else. Or someone else. Um, uh, but, you know, because accessibility is important. Um, but there's stuff like... Um, I've seen the tennis ball, where you take a tennis ball and you um, put a drawing implement through it so you can hold it with your whole oh, hand. Oh, that's a great idea. Instead of like, because, you know, that yeah. fine motor. Um, what I suggest, and I hope this is helpful for people who have those sort of issues, is that like, especially if you have something like a tremor and you can't do fine motor stuff, um, draw way, way bigger. I like, agree. Draw, draw huge so that like you know you don't have to um rely on fine motor rely skills. On, on fine motor skills and then you can like you can compensate for that um it's like the the way that works for you is going to be what um what is the correct way mm -hmm. of drawing Like there's, there's not quite a correct way to do any of this stuff. It's like drawing is a is a brain exercise, um, more than it is a a hand uh, exercise. Like the the interface between the two is important. But, but a lot of it's just like your perception and interpretation and trying to get. Yeah, like you it don't want to like if if the if the, the the normal way of drawing is presenting more of a challenge than it intrinsically does already, it's okay to change that approach. Like you don't have to be like, you know, I can't do this exact thing and that's really frustrating. It's like, you know, outside the box. It's like it'll work with what you have um and then that'll work. So there you go. Mm -hmm. You could go even bigger than that. Like, you know, get a piece of poster board and like, I don't know, like a rag with ink on it or something. Yeah. Cause like it, it, the, the, <clears throat> the bigger you work, the, the less um, little tremors will uh, affect the overall size. And then it just sort of becomes part of the style. Yeah, like I think, a... like, my hand shakes a bit. Mm -hmm. I think, I always think of, like, the, the blazing saddles, like, this is my, my <laughs> Yeah, but I hand. shoot with this one. I shoot with this one, and it's like, whenever I'm using a camera, if, if it's not locked off on a tripod, you can definitely tell that I'm shaky. Like, even, even with, like, all of the steadying breaths and relaxation, and if my posture's perfect, or whatever, like, I have to brace it on something or have it locked off. Steady in breath. Yeah! Like, it, when you breathe out slowly, like, like snipers Oh, it's like sniper do. style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing for camera use. You can, you can probably understand why. It's also, yeah, actually, okay. archery does the same thing. Uh, all right. See now I'm now you got me interested. What you got? How big, how big can we draw? I don't know. I've got these uh watercolor pens that I've never used. Probably the biggest tool I have available. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not at home? Yeah, he's here. 
Love Say you, hi, Nina. Ian. He can't hear me. What a jerk. I have unconventional, unorthodox, is it unorthodox or unconventional tastes? Both. Yeah, okay. Is that ink? Yes. Um, I have a pre-bottled uh, solution. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh god, it's gotten everywhere already. Ah, uh, yes. I've been doing tons of, like, digital stuff, so... I have to add water to this thing. I'm not going to use my drinking water. I'll do this after the break. Which we're coming up on. Yeah. Should I move this closer? You can be messy if you want. It doesn't fucking matter. This be the left hand. Why not? Do some sumi shit. Yeah. All calligraphy up in. Look, Ma, on my hand. <laughs> oh no! No smoke fire says they got excommunicated by the art pope once. Are you sure it was the real art pope? I mean, I think you have to lift the gown to check. Oh, what? Wait, what? You didn't know about that rule? What in the hell are you talking about? You know, some people try to sneak women into the popedom. So you gotta check. What? You heard me. I, uh, okay, I may have heard you, but it didn't make any sense to me. Again, this is this is from a mindset that consider, con considers genitals and gender the same thing. Okay. 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 Glad we had this talk about the Pope. Want to hear about the anti-Pope? No, you don't want to hear about the anti-Pope. I... I didn't know there was an anti-pope. Is there an actual anti-pope or are you telling porcupines? Right now? I don't, I don't, I mean, anyone can be the anti-pope. Not it. having a discussion about um art last night with a, a teacher mm -hmm. and i i was telling him that i'm very much in the the bob ross school of things where it's like you can you know anybody can learn to paint um you can like basically have anything your mind goes to and she was saying that it's really frustrating in the class that she teaches with young kids sometimes when the parents are just like oh she you know my kid was born with it it's like Go fuck yourself. Right. Like I, I know you want to be special and you want your kid to be special, but like that's not true and extremely demoralizing for other people. Um, because uh skill or hang on a sec. Talent gets this mythical quality to it that it just doesn't have. <laughs> it's bullshit. Um, like, I think some people take to it more easily, right? but, um, if you want something bad enough, you can have it. 
it's study and practice. That's the, that's the the um the caveat that I started adding recently because I I used to just be like oh just practice practice practice. Um, practice is no good if you don't have um a good basis of what you are practicing. Otherwise, you're just like repeating the same mistake. So that's where where study comes in. Where you're just like how do I draw the thing, and right. then I will try drawing it a bunch. Um, and study a lot of the time involves like look at the actual goddamn thing you want to draw. I don't know who started this. Like it, um, there was a, a thing recently where people were kind of fussed about people implying that using reference was cheating. I was like, who says right? that? No one. No one says that. Well, idiots. Mm. Wrongs. The wrongs, the wrongs say it. Um, yeah, use reference. There, there's like not a lot of things that I consider actual cheating when it comes to artwork. Um, like my thing is, is like you know don't try to pass off other people's work as your own. Right. And um, be, uh, I mean, this is difficult because it's subjective. It's like, be mindful of like how transformative your contribution to like an existing piece of material is. It, like it's, it's the, um, the, what's the word? It's not remix. It's like, the, the sampling conundrum? Yes, or the mashup thing. Yeah, exactly. Where it's like, you know, how transformative is transformative. But yeah, it's like, even something like tracing um, is not necessarily as, as cut and dry as like, don't ever trace or you're cheating. Um, like... I started to finally get a grasp on perspective um, by partly tracing stuff. What I'll do is I'll, ha I'll have like a scene that I'll print out on you know a piece of paper and it'll have like you know buildings or whatever. Um, and I will trace the key points and then I will rebuild the scene with my own lines of convergence. So I'm basically taking the layout and where, you know, a lot of the reference points are, but I'm not like slavishly trying to, you know, exactly copy everything. Cause then that would look like crap and not work and look way more like it was, you know, actually like traced and not reworked. But, you know, looking at the thing you want to draw is how you learn how to draw it. Weird, right? Maybe. Because it's like, you know, think about a tree. You know what a tree Gross. looks like, right? Gross. Do you, do, do you actually know what a tree looks like? Like, you could pick one out of a lineup, but if you're like, you know, draw a tree. Well, what kind of tree? How, you know, what season? So... Look at a picture of a tree or go f visit an actual tree. They're very compliant about letting you draw them. Thumb is hard. Thumb is very hard. Thumb is nasty hard. I'm always drawing like super bent thumbs. Like, this is how I draw thumbs now. Right. Like, eh. This looks cool. I, I've I, seen I, a lot of people I, use like very uh, hard square thumbs, like especially the outside joint, like for exaggeration. Yeah. For is that cartoon, studio especially. trigger th influence? I don't remember how they draw thumbs. Did you? Oh, did you see the um, the redraw the uh, 
the animu guy. Draw the animu guy. Yes, yes. The how to draw manga. That was really, really guy. cute. Yes. Yeah. I did the one. It's really funny. The, it's um it was one of those like I wanna say nineties uh how to draw manga books drawn by somebody who did not know how to draw. Um and it popped up. I don't even think this was recent, but it just like crossed it's, my dash. It's been recent. Yeah, it's yeah, last and, month. Yeah, and it was like redraw him in your style, and a yeah. lot of people did really amazing renderings of this dude. <laughs> the The next sort of like nightmare mode one is going to be drawing uh, Ariel. Oh, it's Not, May next. Yes. That's I should I should do that. Like that's a that's a real challenge. Yeah. Because it's like it and beyond just like the funny meme potential, being able to evaluate why something sucks and how it could be fixed has its own value. Cause like I mean, I don't know if you could bring up on your screen the picture we're talking about. It might not be safe for Seven life. Seven vagina, yes. At the what? Ariel needs legs. What? Ar Ariel needs legs? Sometimes you say stuff. Okay, I... we're going to take a break here. I'm going to play a commercial, okay. and Alex is going to go and Google Ariel needs legs. Either the comic or the video, or both. And then we're going to come back and. Uh, yeah, after this Corey. Discussion. Has sent me to look at a bunch of vaginas apparently yeah seven of them all it. right be right back we are back i would like to thank temporary temporally awry for 36 months man with the golden card 32 months Raynard Rekka, 51 months. Lur is one of the most constant points of sanctuary in my life. Is that unusual? Sanctuary. Thank you. Cheeto Jack, 81 months. Awesome. That's everybody. Uh, and I just remembered while we were in commercial that uh, Eric the Orange asked me for like a Spotify playlist or something so he could listen to music during stream. So I did actually make one for, for Eric, and I'll post it in chat. There. Just in case the silence... What? It's a deafening, deafening silence. 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 I didn't do anything to Alex. Chat. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. We'll see if anybody can figure out what I'm drawing. Uh, that is Terry from the new Disney Pixar movie Soul. I uh, know. Voiced by the great Rachel House. Looks a lot like the cheat. Does it? A little bit. Yeah, I guess so. Is that. Um, it, I mean, you were talking about drawing mermaids, so it could be a mermaid if I squint. No, I'm that's. The, this is Seven Virginias. Oh, that girl. <clears throat> Don't you Fred Penner me. <sighs> First I have to deal with allergies and then you. I learned it from you. <laughs> sure you did. Uh, 
now I'm just I, I can't I can't look at it. I just can't. I can't look at it. I can't look at you. Virginias. That's too many. I don't even know if people like one of them. Like I don't know. I secretly hope there's somebody from Virginia in the chat and that you hurt their feelings just now. Uh, You'll be terribly embarrassed by it. Oh, speaking of all thank you, um, the other night I had like horrendous insomnia, same as I did like this morning, um, and I ended up watching all the Austin Powers movies. That was a weird. That's experience. not going to make your night better. No, but it. I mean, it didn't make it much worse. It's very, very peculiar. Looking at like an early two thousands and like late nineties time capsule. Especially a Mike Myers one, like, and the, just the the reference to the seventies. It, it's a lot. Well, it's a lot. Okay, so the first movie was a very straight up, deliberate James Bond parody, and it was actually it's actually still like an okay, you know, dumb comedy movie, but then it became like this weird Mike Myers like. Fugue state, of where just he a plays bunch of, like, several characters. Well, it play, I mean, I think he he did that in the first one, but it was just the two, I think. Um, but it just it became increasingly like a parody of itself, and it gets very weird. Yeah, I mean, like watching just atrocious trash on uh, Netflix. It's kind of like for historical purposes. Like, um, I put on The Hangover last night, which okay. I'd never seen. Okay, I was I've like, seen, I've seen two of them. I was like, this movie was popular enough to spawn like three sequels, huh? How about that? Still, uh, still making gay jokes, guys, huh? Okay. Although, actually, like, I'm just lost in a world of thumbs right now. I'm just, I'm just thumbing. Yeah, I know that feel. Thumbing. I um, I put on a scary movie as well. Boy, I have was not that... seen any of those. Don't, don't do it. Um, like I said, it was it was very interesting from a research perspective to just see like what the state of comedy was like back then. It was not good. It was just like, oh, okay. These are all the same jokes, and they're really, really tasteless, and you know, aimed at minorities. <laughs> Yikes! You're, you're, I believe you're painting an actu accurate picture, but uh, not a pleasant one. Yeah. No, I mean, in some ways, it makes me appreciate the the progress that has been made. Where I'm just like, this could never be made now, and that's probably for the best. Now, have I seen any good movies recently? Good movies. What did I watch? I've been, I've been watching I watched so much. Doors, which came out this year, which is kind of a horror anthology about doors that appear and hmm. manipulate people into entering them, and inside is kind of a weird 
Sounds kind of Dream cool. World? Yep. Oh, I watched uh, Turbo Kid. Turbo Kid. It was fun. I think it's like a, a little Canadian indie movie. Um, like, it, it was... Um, it was basically just like a um, 80s retro style sort of, you know, splatter adventure. It was fun. Okay. Just keep drawing hands here. Not even drawing under the, under the camera. That's me. Jerry aware. Do, do, do. It's you. <laughs> what? Just the the educational TV uh, bumper noise. Yeah. That's all. Shit, what what show was that from? I don't I forgot. I like can't you can't remember. Yeah, me do, neither. Do, do. Was it reading Rainbow? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Somebody's going to scream at us. They they scream reading rainbow at us. Okay. I, I'm i glad that I got it with my guess. You know, you don't have to take my word for it. I am a supportive of LeVar Burton taking over uh, hosting duties for uh, Jeopardy. I think he'd be okay. Wait, he, he's... Oh. This, right. They have... People want him to. Yeah, all right. I mean, I don't give a fuck about Jeopardy, so I don't have a horse in that race. I'll take uh, what is sustaining the illusion of the American dream for 800. You are a rube drawn the most beautiful i forgot to get water from my water pen but it's okay water pen water pen is that like a water bond man do no. you draw and then take a rip no i bet you could smoke a fat blunt and draw and it would Make your drawings look like fat blunts. <laughs> Weed culture is endlessly funny to me as someone who does not smoke weed. But not everyone who smokes weed is into weed culture. Understandably so. I made a giant hand. Oh, I rewatched Thunderbirds. That was really good. Oh, puppet. That show, yeah, that show slaps. Yeah. I will, I will accept no criticism of uh, Thunderbirds. Especially like th this blew my fucking mind. That I don't know if he like positively confirmed it, but Hideaki Anno was potentially influenced by Thunderbirds. Yep, yeah, easily. Yeah, it's it's definitely Tokusatsu related. Oh, but now I'm remembering Shin Kamen Rider. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. I mean, is Shin it, Ultraman it? looks beautiful. Yes, okay. he is. So, but you know what's going to happen after Shin Kamen Rider, right? Second Shin Godzilla? Like, we just get to uh, loop No, Shin Super Sentai. It's got to happen. Come on. I don't know. Maybe it's Shin Metal Heroes. Like, did you ever think about that? I I think There's I no would prefer to see Super Sentai. Yeah. You prefer? I think that would be awesome. <laughs> also, I kind of think that he's just like a massive nerdo. He always has been. <laughs> which kind of takes the wind out of the sails of, you know, his worshippers. No, and I love that. Uh, have you ever good. seen his wife's work? 
uh, his, have... his wife's journal comics or anything like that. I don't think so. Uh, well, she goes by the name Rompers. <laughs> she draws herself as a baby. Okay. She does a really good caricature of, of Anno, but she draws herself as a little baby. and <laughs> That's interesting. <clears throat> it's very cute and fun. And they're both nerds, so... I Does it, it count as being nerdy if you're into your own work? Like, um, oh, Hideaki Anno is big into Evangelion. What? That doesn't make any sense. Right? But it's a nerd thing. Like, I guess. Ah, oh, J. Michael Straczynski loves space things. Like, you know that I watch our videos and laugh at my own jokes, right? Your like own you do jokes? That. Yes. Part of why I do funny stuff is so that I can laugh at it. In fact, that's a that's a large part of it. Really, a lot of people are not, are like motivated by making the audience laugh. Wait, you're your own audience. In, in a manner of speaking. Hmm. I see. I mean, I heard a, a piece of advice about comedy um, at one point that was like, "Go with whatever makes you laugh first and don't try to not overthink it. Because if you like come up with an idea and you bust out laughing, and you're like, well, maybe I should you know, edit that down. And that's obviously not a hard and fast rule. You know, it's just like, and then the orphanage burns to the ground. Right. <laughs> All the kids. Um, you know, but uh, the idea is that like the, the reflexive sort of impulse has some uh some sort of intrinsic quality to it right because it hasn't been like overwrought you know that difficult point where you have been working on the joke for so long that you're no longer confident that it is in fact funny until you show it to someone and they're like i laugh so hard i puked and you're yeah, like, I oh. that. Like yeah i i <laughs> Anytime I get somebody saying you owe me a new keyboard, I'm like, <laughs> got him. Ooh, I should play connect the dots with this. Maybe I can make hands out of these connect the dots. Hands out of connect the dots. No, this is already not working. <laughs> To make weird hands though. I made a weird hand. I would qualify that as kind of a cauliflower hand. Um, we also watched Captain Scarlet. Um, I don't know that one. It's um, I finally figured out what the, what one of the big differences is. Um, Captain Scarlet uh, has some similarities to um, uh, Thunderbirds, but the the puppets are more realistic. I think they might be a larger scale. And there's actual, like, the stakes are higher. Like, um, Thunderbirds is a very fun kind of, like, nobody ever gets actually killed. Right. Um, but in uh, Captain Scarlet, you know, people people can get fucking killed to death. So it's like Gundam. Yeah, I guess so. So you still have the, like, wild kind of models and really cool some kind of 60s um, futurism design. The basic pre the premise of the series is so funny. Um, uh, people from Earth visit Mars, I think, and <laughs> they, they come across, their first contact is they find this like spectacular Martian city and then it, it cuts to the inside and you hear this voice talking about it's like, we must welcome these visitors. Let's have a closer look. And they like swivel their observation things. Right. And the, the guy 
driving the the space car is like they're obviously hostile. Let them have it, and they blow the place the fuck up. Like okay. they just unleash hell, and then um, the the Martians who are um, they they're called the Misterons. They you know they they, they use their their reconstruction space magic to rebuild the city, and are like you fucked up. Now we're going to, you know, begin a campaign of revenge on the Earth. Like, the th thing that's funny is, like, it's unambiguously, you know, we started it. <laughs> and we're just like, well, we got to stop all these, like, Martian um, uh, terror actions. But it's really, it's completely our fault. So... But yeah, very cool vehicles. There was a really great um, interview on the making of Thunderbirds, right? Where it interviews a bunch of the the puppeteers and writers and so forth, and then just brains in character which I thought was really funny. So like he's he's sat on a sound stage giving an interview like he is an actor and right. you know, talking about the stuff that happened. Uh, it's really charming. Trying also like that left hand. Yeah, also the sort of like 60s sci-fi where everything is atomic powered. Yeah. There was an episode where um, this high tech um, animal growth hormone undergoes a, a spill. Uh -huh. And in in a bayou, and so they unleash normal sized alligators onto the puppets. How is my phone not charging? Well, electricity is not flowing into it. Ah. <sighs> Is uh, your your fridge running? No, I shot it. Wait, what? A gun? Why? A heat gun. How else do you kill a fridge? <laughs> Did you see the dumpling gun? No. I hope I retweeted it because uh, it's a post-Soviet visual. There's like a dumpling gun. Like a dumpling it's like, gun. No, it's a it's a gun that makes dumplings. It's a gun that makes dumplings. So why white gloves for Disney characters? Minstrel shows. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 
Yeah, oh. yeah, and you know how, like, all of the early stuff, like the Cuphead aesthetic, where they've got the noodle limbs and they're all, like, okay. jumping in or jiving. Can I just say, um, there's nothing intrinsically racist about, um, uh, what is it called? Rubber hose style. It was yes. utilized in a in a bunch of extraordinarily racist animations. But because it, it is Vogue, derived it from minstrel shows, it is... That's ox. At least you should kind of know that. <clears throat> God damn it. Form content, etc. And uh, if you watch Japanese animation, you'll see uh-huh. a lot more of that than you expect to see. Especially blackface. A lot of blackface in Japan still a little bit. Well, I mean, like, um, Gaki no Tsukai, uh, they were doing... Um, they did that in, like, a shockingly recent um, Batsu game, which was really unfortunate. Right. I mean, they just have this weird Eddie Murphy fixation. So they get... Um, uh Hamada to like cosplay as him. It's like, okay, that's just dumb. Don't. Yeah. It's dumb and awful. Uh Japan. <laughs> so different and yet so the same. Yeah. There was a thread uh on Twitter going around yesterday about uh, how people in North America interpret some Japanese characters for anime as black, even though they are stereotype representations of other, like, indigenous Japanese people or... Really? Indians. Yeah. Huh. Like, uh... Ainu? Yeah, like the Ainu, specifically. But, like, mm. not like they're presented in Golden Kamui, like Brock from Pokemon. Huh. It's based on like an Okinawan uh, indigenous people. How about that? Uh, about Excuse me. Whereas Sorry. Black Jack, because I've read the manga, I know that half his face is black, even though uh, they color it blue. <laughs> it's blue. Yeah. But, you know, he That's... was running on the beach with his little black friend, and then he blew up, and a wandering surgeon took a skin graft from his friend to save his face. Huh. Anime is weird. Especially Tezuka. Tezuka is very weird. You don't say. It's just like, I was having an adventure and all my friends were there. Like, uh, ha- ham egg and a <laughs> settling torch. Dr. Elephant was there, too. I can't tell how much you're joking, and it's probably not at all. This is not the House of Lies. No, is that, like, later? Uh, that's Sundays uh, at 4. Which means that it's not Sundays at 4. Because what kind of House of Lies would be truthful about its uh, time slot? Have we not done a Mario Paint stream? And if not, why not? Well, you need to buy the Nintendo mouse. I've only got the the Dreamcast keyboards. I don't have the Nintendo mouse. Have we done Typing of the Dead? We have not, but I've got two keyboards. It's multiplayer. I heard that there was like a a mod where you can put in your own phrases. And somebody (laughs) was suggesting like putting in a bunch of stuff from QuoteBot. That might be fun. Yeah. No, uh, like, so the first zombie like, is like this is brutal. Like it's very I, hard. I imagine so. Ian always kicks my ass. I thought it was co-op. 
Yes, uh -oh, but trouble. there's different scores, and you individually as a person can die in the game, and then you just have to sit there while someone else continues to succeed. Ouch. A lot like life. Ah, chat says Ian and Beej may have played it. Ian, Ian did. Remember the fly swatting game in that uh, in Mario? Mad Attack? Uh, I, I, <clears throat> the music from that game is mm -hmm. it. You know how people do like chip tune covers. That's a thing, especially with like real instruments. So, uh -huh. Nat Attack is up on the list. Uh, so is Slam Shuffle from Slam Final Fantasy. Shuffle. Slam Shuffle. Something happened to that hand. Hmm? Something happened. Uh, no, that's fine. What is it? Great battle is fought here. <laughs> Please grab my special hand. Ah. Uh. Uh, Himiho. I never played Glover. I uh, I have no experience with that. I do know of it, but that's just me for me reasons. Should I try drawing a horse with hands? Yeah, go for it. Horses are measured by number of hands. Yep. Okay, let's try this, like, no, uh, no reference horse. probably got 14 hand horse. Yeah. Aggressive. are really fucking big. Glad you've noticed. I mean, also their their feet or their legs are actual like fingers. Well, the their fingers. Their legs play. are actual legs. They just the proportions are different. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> one long thing. Oh, got the tail going up in a swishy. Got some flies in the area. Yeah. Come on, man. Let us snack on your butt. So, one note. Uh, you missed the masseter. Fuck the masseter. I got the main. Don't trust it. <laughs> you shouldn't. That is an untrustworthy looking horse. This is a horse that would steal your wallet.
Looks like a weird shape to horse ears. I don't remember what it is, but it's like they're curved at the back and then they go up into points. Kind of like uh Doberman pincher ears that are untrimmed. Maybe trimmed. I don't yeah, a little like that. I bet I can make this even worse with reference. Oh, I see. So, like... They've got those uh, side eyes. Got those side eyes. I mean, this one looks more like a cow. That is definitely <clears throat> a cow. See, this is very liberating because um, I don't have to draw a good horse. No. In fact, it's better if I draw a shitty horse. Oh, I mean, no, I mean, you don't have to because it's practice. Not because the stream is about doing it badly. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. You ever do like uh, uh, gesture drawing? Yes, not as often as I should, but uh, it's very good. I mean, I think it's a it's a great way to to draw or to practice drawing. I mean, like I try to drive perfectionism out of people um, that are trying to learn how to draw, and um, gesture drawing is a great way to do that. Especially if you're doing like Sharpie and copier paper, it's like, you know, adapt to the idea of just doing a shitload of drawings and them not having to be good. Yeah. 
you know, you can potentially learn a lot more from, you know, a hundred shitty drawings than from 10 really good drawings. You actually get to the 10 good drawings by going through the hundred shitty ones. Yeah, that wasn't even gesture. That was like, I'm still trying too hard. Can I get like the line of motion? Wow. Then, like if, if you get it, then you can just sort of like clean it up as well. You want to be able to like get the general form of what the thing's meant to look like, and mm -hmm. then you can refine it. also lends itself to like stronger poses like i'm going full jojo mode here yeah well but, i mean like you know, part of pushing things right it's part of drawing Next time I do this, I need to have a setup where I can actually read chat. Mm, yeah, well, it's hard to... Uh, and sorry to chat for us not uh, talking much or interacting with y'all. But, yeah, it's hard to, like, focus on what you're doing and what you're referencing, potentially, and also read. It's a multitask. Multitask. Which is a, a lie that we tell ourselves is something we can do. Can you, like, you... Is it actually like you can't actually multitask? You can just, like, switch effectively? That's what a lot of people do, yeah.
Now, for myself, I've I've pulled up a uh, American Sign Language uh, oh photo set. <clears throat> trying to work through, trying to see the forms and figure it out. So it's just a way to draw many hands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is one of the few things that Pinterest is actually useful for is finding reference. Right. I mean, I hate to say anything positive about Pinterest because it's like fucked everybody's SEO. Yeah, I can't um, find anything anymore. It's on Pinterest. Uh, ah. for, yeah, just for, for looking up um, reference images and ideas and stuff, it's actually quite good at the cost of ruining your SEO. Yeah, but that's what it's for. Yeah. Oh, goodness, is it three already? Almost. Oh, I'll become a pumpkin. But why? Oh, God, why does it hurt? What do you think we should draw next time? Uh, us? You, you and I? Sure. Or do you mean on my next... Uh, oh, okay, what do, you, what do you have planned for uh, your next, next thing? Next is Uber? Matt, and we're looking at different software for uh, doing sprite work. <sighs> that sounds like fun. Yeah. What would you want to do if you came back? Mm, Actually, no. What I would like to work on with you is what? prop work for, like, backgrounds and things. Oh, baby. Right? Yeah. Um, God, there's a, there's a few things that... The sort of, like, anxiety posting that happens in our communities about certain drawing things yeah. is, like, cute for about five minutes. And then, like, when you're exposed to it that often, it's just like, pick up your fucking stylus already and shut up. It's like, I, uh, my patience gets worn so thin. Because, you know, it's it's fine to sort of, you know, be self-deprecating and like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I have difficulty with this aspect of drawing. But, like, it, after a certain point, it, it seems to be like a sort of a neurosis like a, a, a self-perpetuating thing. It's just like, sit your ass down and do it. <laughs> okay. Like, god damn. It's just like, I'm bad at this drawing thing. It's like, well, how often do you draw it? Not often. It's like, oh, it's not rocket science. I mean, I'm not completely heartless. I, I know how anxiety works, but also... Anxiety sucks. It sure does. Why doesn't it get a job it likes? Ha! It's 
to just sitting there looming over you, threatening to drown you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing, Anxiety. Okay. See, if I was smart, I would have started with this. A ruler? Yeah. Yeah. I keep uh, small, metal, and sharp in my notebook for doing journal stuff. And for this, I pulled out a little triangular so that I could have like a really good grip on top of it. I forgot about my drawing glove. <laughs> Have you watched any of uh, For All Mankind? Um, I don't think so. All right. It sounds like it's about to... I feel like someone has told me about it, and I've been like, oh, that sounds cool. And I just like haven't watched it yet. The uh, last episode I watched had like... Three, two, two rocket launches in it. One of them was with a tower. And the other one was underwater. And then the third one was a piggyback shuttle. Which was cool. I get to see a rocket launch within my lifetime. That would be super sweet. I've never been to one. I've heard they're very good. Yeah. God, the letter J is scary. Fist coming at you. Thank you to Carbonyl Cookie for 66 months of support. See, everybody's fussed about, you know, their thigh gap. And what they really need to be concerned about is that missile gap. Between whomst? Hmm? Whomst. Well, you and your enemies. Yeah. See, that's that's your problem. That's why like, would I be concerned many, about, about my enemies? How many ballistic missiles do you have? Top have, you, have you oh classified good answer classified. <laughs> have you audited your arsenal recently if 
I had a missile silo, I would convert it to a living space. Same. Like, I don't know if I can be trusted with these things. Like, if I had a supercomputer, say like a Cray Mark II, I would oh, use thanks. that as a tasteful entryway bench. Uh, <laughs> if I had uh, a particle accelerator, I would just sit there and take photos or hang out inside of it all the time. Send stuff through it. Use it to microwave your food. It's, it's I, I have warm. a microwave. Yeah, but it's not a particle accelerator. This heat, I mean, I don't know. You could do exciting stuff and be like, hey, this food's being heated with ionizing radiation. We heard about people uh, from like a, the olden times when they were first doing radio uh, cooking food on their microwave uh discs on the oh no yeah i feel like if you if you stood in front of the the what are they called cone parabola the thing what catches radio the dish, the dish. if you stood in front of the dish you could feel warmth nope <laughs> Ooh, Arakel. Yeah, macrowave your food. I ain't macrowaving nothing. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. Mm. I totally forgot. Do we do a second break or is this just a two hour thing? Oh, we should do a second break. Breaks every hour. Stick out your hands. We are going to go to commercial for a period of time, chat. Okay. So sit tight and enjoy these messages. Hello, everyone. And Alex. Hello. I'm a human. What am I then? Mm, beef. You sure, uh, you sure it is not cow? Cow is intermediary beef. No, cow is a uh, Anglo-Saxon beef. Beef is French beef. What? Beef is just fancy cow. Because it's French. Le boeuf. Yeah, you got it. The boeuf. Boeuf. Oh, these nuts. But Buffo nuts. Yep. How many fingers do we have? Oh no, I've drawn one very wide finger when I meant to group my fingers up. What do you have dangling at the top of your frame? Uh... Oh, it's, um... Earplug.
Yeah, kind of getting a handle on on uh, curving the fingies towards the palm. It's hard to get the curve right. Not gonna say what I'm thinking. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say what I'm thinking. Just say Your it. robot looks like a pole dancer. Like you look like you're ready to Yes, exactly. Two poles, run robot. Here to dazzle the crowd. Uh if you could name this robot, what would you name it? Um What's a good what's a good robot stripper name? Oh that's like mm. I don't know. My mind's gone blank. Galaxandra suggests Bolty McNuts. I. Heatar Cat, Beef Himbot. Uh, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the Bots Master bots is named Hummabot. Could be could be Hummabot. I just want you to know, Corey, that everything that's about to happen is your fault. Mackenzie. <laughs> Jazz love fist. Also, some of these names are spelled in leet. I don't know if you, you're not reading the chat, so you can't tell. Hmm, Fisto. Mm. That's more of a Star Wars name. Oh, Clench Eastwood. Oh, sweet, innocent Clench Eastwood. Kit Fisto was not made up by Ian. Kit Fisto's a Jedi. Darth Insanius. You remember? Did you ever hear about that? Yes. That yes. I, yes. Uh, I can't remember who Darth Insanius was supposed to be. Well, they, they they asked George to come in 
to like do some sort of advise, like advisor yeah. thing. And everybody was super stoked. And you know, they're like, oh, you know, he's gonna pitch us some um some Jedi name ideas. And we were like, oh man, what's gonna be? He was like, okay, my two Jedi names are or uh Sith names rather, sorry. Yeah. Are Darth Icky. Which I think they went with. Or Darth Insanius. Right. And I think in the boardroom, everybody just sort of like laughed nervously and George didn't. And I think they realized, oh, fuck. He's completely insane. Okay, so Brownie Points has the deeds. They asked Lucas to come in and advise a mall game. He was dead serious about naming the villain Darth Icky and Darth Insanius. And That's he was fucking dead serious. Stupid He's as hell. Insanius. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is wrong with that? And people guy? bringing up Starkiller. Starkiller was going to be Luke's name. And there are some comic books based on the original kind of pitch for Star Wars that are kind of kind of fun to read. Neat. Please stop making Star Wars. No. I mean, they, they won't. You can't make me. No, they'll they'll never do it. But it's I'm just like Star Wars right now. This is my Star Wars Batman villain. I've just come up with. It's very wide. But he has a lightsaber. And he can uh, stop nosebleeds with his mind. That's his okay. power. Get some red in here to show that he's evil. Evil. He needs this hat to breathe. Because he's so strong, he needs help. And he has a very tight collar. And uh, he has a grandson who is super uncool and beefy, but also very wide. His, his grandson is a very... frowny, long face, but wavy hair. And he has these two twins. All family is here. I made these up. These are OC, don't steal.
Oh, it's backwards. Oh. You know how some animators will like make the face of the cartoon character they're drawing? Yep. Are you, are you doing that right now? Well, there's no face. No, I meant recreating the pose. Oh, no. I do have reference open, though. I am on the letter O. What do you mean there's no command Z? What? What have I been doing? Oh, not you. I just meant in general. People are scared of uh, using fewer layers or drawing traditionally because there's no undo. Hmm. Come on, take a fucking chance. Take a fucking chance. starting to lose my place in the alphabet. I'm just like looking and I'm like, it's just hands everywhere. It's just all hands. It's kind of horrifying. Am I drawing the P or the Q? I mean, now we're gonna have to do a bunch of pole dancing robots. Oh no, whatever shall you do? They're all pole dancing robots. All right, if that's what we're doing, I've got space over here for that. <clears throat> yes. You start laying out where the pole is or the dancer? I'm going to look at reference first, because pole dancing is like a, a pretty complicated pose, or series of poses. It's very athletic. Grab with your fingies, because you're a robot, you have clamp hands, just like little sea clamp hands. This arm goes this way, that arm goes that way, and then there's like shoulders, then you have a head with like some spiky hair out the back. Maybe your your hind legs also have clampy arms, cause like a uh, porcupine or pangolin, you're adapted for gripping a pole. <clears throat> Maybe you have a knee joint. There we go. Got a happy face. It's happy to be dancing.
There's music everywhere. Sorry, I'm just laughing at how bad. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen uh, Kaiba? Seto Kaiba? No. No, the series is called Kaiba. I have no idea what it is. That's fine. That's what I was mentally channeling when I uh, drew this. Neat. Yes, Juliamon, the Masaki Yuasa series. Because when am I not talking about Masaki Yuasa? My favorite director. It's a show about uh, people who can store and transfer their memories and minds in these little cones that you can just plug and play. And traveling around and seeing different things. Kind of like Kino's journey for like an episodic like lost in space thing while there's also an overarching plot about space terrorism. Huh. Well, if that don't beat all... Uh, brownie points. I am so stoked for the new Soda movie. I haven't even watched the trailer. <laughs> I just I've seen some stills for Bell, but yeah. I'm gonna add like a label or something. Text. Boop. Whoops. What? That feel when you invert the scale. There. Perfect. Oopsie doodle. Just gonna pull up some reference of some porcupine hands. Like you do. Gesundheit. Thank you. Maybe if I didn't call them hands, I would get better reference. Ah, there we go. Porcupine <laughs> grips. Yeah. Perfect. Ah, there. Yeah, like 
big oval pad and my claws curl round. Get creases like that. Okay, okay. hair. <laughs> why you yell at robot? Or rather, why you mad at robot? up on stage just like didn't I do it for you very sad oops I did it again uh I was referencing FKA twigs I don't know what that is cellophane There's a music video you might like. Surf Down Stage has just subscribed for 23 months. Thank you. Now we're doing surfing. Meow. Meow. I don't have space to draw a head, but because I started drawing duck feet, this would totally have like a kappa head all around. Perfect. Up there. The great photo, Tamily. Oh. I need one of those uh like feather brushes or like 20 of those feather brushes for like sweeping my crap uh yeah my eraser crap can confirm they're very useful ever since i saw them in a manga i've wanted one or like 20. A can of air. Ian, do we have a can of air? 
He can't hear me. Sorry, Angel. No air today. I think I've hit a point where my arm is tired. Yeah, don't want to push too hard past that. No. <clears throat> but that means I can give my uh, bone a rest. There we go. So it can stop complaining. Ooh, it's very warm. Ooh. Hot phone. Yeah, some stretching. Oh. Uh. You don't want like a 503 gateway forbidden. Do I look like a nerd? Strawberry shortcake. Red, red, ooh, white. Ooh, what you got there? What you this do with the white stuff? Uh, this is um, Posca paint pens. Oh. They're the best because nothing else is like anywhere near as opaque. Yeah, that's often the problem I have. As someone once put it, uh, all the other pens are milk. Oh, Red Velvet? Ultraviolet? These are good names. Infrared. The Infra Dancer. When did they drop the bucket of water on her? That's, uh, you really want to be using mineral oil. Fair. Do you see it here? Everybody throws ram sticks up on stage. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> We're drawing hands. You know. I did draw a couple of hands. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, CAK host uh, is asking the question all of us are asking. Who draw who throws a coil? <laughs> um one of the patrons who is getting ejected right now. Ah. Uh. Yeah, like, here, I'll... <laughs> Give me a bucket of water so long as you throw 
or follow up with a bucket of rice. Can you imagine having to sit in a giant, I don't know, bathtub full of rice at the end of the day, just <laughs> like overnight? Just because. Dumpstered. Tell this, oh, tell this schlub to take a hike. He's bothering the automatons. Oh man, hmm? you you wouldn't even need to have like tattoos if you were a robot. No, you can spray stencil. You don't have any like macrophages to hold on the ink for you. You can just paint your skin. Yep, that's a um. It's a storyline and questionable content. Which I never read. It's good. Oh, etching. Yeah, you could acid etch. Yeah, laser etch. Um, or laser hologram. etch. Yeah. Just going to go ahead and write these down for no reason at all. <laughs> I think I, I I know I've seen somewhere a style of robot that was like ceramic with gold or silver inlay. Oh man! Right, just pops. Like very good. Very stylish. If only I had some sort of comic setting that had sexy robots in it. Actually, yeah. Athelgar is right. For the Alita movie, they totally did that. Hmm. You know, the, awesome. the movie. <laughs> the movie that finally got made. After yeah, that. It, it sure did. And actually, there's like some really attractive ceramic robots in... Uh, uh, it's another yeah. anime... One Scarlett Johansson was in it. Oh, uh, Ghost in the Ghost Shell? in the Shell. Yeah, yeah. There's some like porcelain-looking robots. Uh, uh, fucking ScarJo. I mean, I guess I should watch it. Just for reference. Don't worry, they, they explain why she's Scarlett Johansson in no, the I'm plot. sure they do. They, I'm sure they do. They're like, no, it's totally okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. But no, the, the, the design of some things is very, very tight. I thought the concept art was alright, but it, it also felt really, really over-designed. Um... Which is a thing that happens with movies. Um, and I can't help but think that it's like, this is budget padding. Um, really? I, um, either that or it's like spectacle creep. That's what I, I mean, assume. Yeah, but it's... I had a very weird experience like a, uh, quite a number of years back when I took a special effects course. And like I didn't know this about motion pictures before, but at least at the time, and I imagine this is probably still true, um, departments on a motion picture will actually compete for their share of the budget. Uh, so they will come up with, like, whatever expensive shit they want to justify um, whether or not the picture needs it. And that hmm. really, you know... Made me stop and think. It's like, oh, I see. It's like, yeah, you know, we gotta have this special effect and uh, this one as well. Yeah. Because I our think... department wants the most fucking money. I think the director coordinates with the different departments, like, what kind of stuff they have to cover. Sure, right? but 
And I don't think, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm thinking about like the budgeting and how that works. I don't know how, like, who would they submit their plans to, to get that approved? Again, it's also like an old anecdote, so. Yeah. I don't know how accurate it is, but it did give me pause. It's all about the money. Unless you're doing it yourself. And then it's all about to go and broke. <laughs> what do you mean I can't spend all my time and energy getting money while I'm also committed to this other thing? Well, why not the both? Why not the ah, both? there we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ard's got a link in the chat for VFX bidding. This will um, torment you, but one of the big things uh, in VFX, like the sort of bread and butter, is doing what are called wet downs. You've ever is that seen specular? No. If if you've ever seen a, a shot of streets at night in a movie, yeah, notice how shiny the street is. Yes, it's because they get a water truck and douse the whole fucking place so that it reflects. It's called a wet down. Hmm. They flip cars by taking a chunk of telephone pole with an explosive charge uh, under the corner of the, the vehicle. That's a cannon, right? I'm not sure what it's exactly called, but yeah, like it, it, it fires this, you know, giant section of timber and flips the car over. So if you watch carefully, you can sometimes see little bits of it coming off. They especially do that for. Uh, I mean, they probably CGI movies. it out now. Yeah. yeah, they do. But uh, for like that, you hit the front of the car and the car flips over. They have like a piston or something in the back end that yeah. does that. But I, it was it was not that I was trying to process the vast truth that you were relating. It was that I was trying <laughs> not to follow it up with random trivia facts from my brain. It's just like, did you know the snow in The Shining is salt? Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what their salt budget was? A lot. Do you know how many tons of salt they used? It's a lot of fucking It's salt. a lot. <laughs> when they were shooting the abyss, they needed <clears throat> to have total darkness underwater, but putting a cover on top of the the shooting tank would have been extraordinarily dangerous because you know you need to be able to surface in an emergency so what they did was they coated the the surface of the water in hundreds and thousands of these tiny black plastic beads so it formed this opaque skin that you could easily break through to get oh. to the surface and the actors were finding them in their nooks and crannies for the rest of their lives. Been there. Anywho. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're done here. I think the experiment was a success. Yeah, I'm going to scan some of these ones, the good ones. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so, um, post them yeah uh thank you everyone in the chat for being here today here on twitch uh perhaps in the future on youtube thank you to alex for joining me today on this adventure you're welcome we we learned a lot and we had a lot of fun mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, everything Lure does is supported by donation, more or less, from the audience through whatever means. Twitch, Patreon, YouTube. Check some uh, of the door. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes people just throw money at us on the street. And then we have to give them, like, a mug or something in return. Uh, let me see if coming up. I think Let's Nope is done uh, Resident Evil 5, so they're on to 6 now. Oh, those poor bastards. Yeah, uh, I, I think they're planning to do a Village, like, right when it hits. So they might not do all of 6. <laughs> But oh boy, they're definitely lady. planning to start six today. Uh, so look forward to that at. Wait, that's not today. That's Tuesday. Today's Monday. Monday. Tomorrow's talking simulator. I'm doing that. There's mining. I'm doing that. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tuesday. Nothing. There's nothing after this. After we leave, there's there's nothing. It's just a void. It's a void. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> okay. And Thanks for having me, Corey. Tomorrow it will be a different day. <laughs> and I'll see you all then. Goodbye. Bye-bye.